Sorry, but our experiment's been done for a while now. <laughs> Going at it anymore here is pointless. No need to stick around for cleanup either. What's he doing? Is this an illusion like before? No! Be careful! Those are real flames this time! Huh, this heat is unreal! A blazing demon indeed. His power is absurd. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, we're done here for today. We still got a bag miss witch too. <laughs> That's right, I nearly forgot. Since I've got a big audience here, I can finally make my grand announcement. I am Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool. As the Grandmaster's representative, I hereby declare our plan to reclaim the Phantasmal Blaze is now in motion. Uh. They're crazy. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to witness such a unique scene. There is no need for further observation. Fall back for now, Siegfried. Understood. You three? So that's what he meant. Was that the chief of the gnomes? That voice, it sounded familiar. Huh? <laughs> Well, putting that man aside... I think I like you. Might I call you Sieg? Huh. <laughs> Do as you like. <gasps> There's another one?! But it's different from the Divine Knight that showed up in Sutherland. Ashen Awakener, Class 7 of Thor's. Your performance earlier wasn't bad, but you're still a long way from being able to join in on our battle. You'd better brush up your skills before next time. Going on. <laughs> I suppose I should be excusing myself now. If I wait around here any longer, I'm sure to be caught. Wait! Vita! After seeing all of that, you're just going to leave without saying anything? If you're being chased by Ouroboros, we can help you and... You don't need to worry about me. I already have people helping me. Also, cryptids and magic knights shouldn't appear in this land again for some time. I've disposed of the pleroma grass that appeared. <laughs> what? But don't forget, the story has already begun. The true story. The one whose ending I failed to change. The fairy tale that tells of the end of Erebonia, Crossbell, the entire world. Be careful, Emma, Reen, and everyone in Class 7.
Rain? Was that...? I have no idea. But we should know better than anyone that it would be impossible. That's true. Yes. We were all there for the burial. Uh. Are you alright, Elisa? You seem like you're in a daze. Oh, I'm fine. I think my brain has just gone numb after everything that happened. Elisa, are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I I'm okay. What about you, Emma? That's right. You were finally able to see her, but... No, I'm okay. I'm just glad I was finally able to see her face after such a long time. More importantly, we can see a little more of the big picture now than we could before. It seems to be related to all of our future somehow. Yeah. The true story. The fairy tale that tells of the end? <sighs> Puzzling words indeed. Man, we pulled out all the stops to help. But even then, we barely made it through. Yes. As things escalate, it's becoming clearer and clearer that we're in over our heads. Hey now, what's with all the long faces? That's right. Stand tall, everyone. Huh? <laughs> Quite so. Were it not for your aid, we never would have been able to bring things to a conclusion. Yeah, your timing was perfect. <laughs> and I'm glad to see you were able to make such good use of the equipment I gave you. Yes, and it's thanks to you breaking the barrier that Reen was able to call Valimar. Well, when you put it that way, I guess they can be a little proud. Ah. <sighs> thanks to you, I was able to fulfill my orders. Yuna, Kurt, Altina, you too, Ash and Muse. You all did a great job. <sighs> but the members of the new Class 7 were the real stars of the show. Yuna was the one who worked the hardest. Agreed. You and Instructor Reen fighting that Ion was a sight to behold, Yuna. Uh, I was just trying to keep up with him the whole time. There's no need to be humble. It was clear to me that you put everything you had into that battle. The skills you learned from the police academy, your hard work at the branch campus, and all of your thoughts and wishes for your homeland. <sighs> Thank you, Yuna. You showed me the true pride of Crossbell. <sighs> of course, Instructor! To be seen off by the royal family is truly more than we deserve. <laughs> oh, don't concern yourself. Considering what you all accomplished this time, we're in your debt. Oh, your highness. <laughs> As usual, she knows how to please a crowd. <laughs> if we had more time, I would have liked to introduce you to those who were trapped in Michelin. 
They have all been freed, I trust. Yes, of course. I was able to contact Noel, Chief Sergei, and Dudley. They say Ellie and Speaker McDowell have returned safely to the city. I see. <sighs> what a relief. Oh, Ellie! I've met her before. You said you were going to see her after this, right, Elisa? That's right. We're planning to discuss economic and technological policies. I've heard a lot of rumors about her, but this will be my first time actually meeting her, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I can see the two of you getting along real well. Based on what I've heard, she seems to have a number of hobbies, much like yourself. <sighs> I'm glad to see you've recovered, Sharon. Yeah, me too. It seems like your burns weren't very severe. <laughs> My recovery is due to the thorough care the doctors at St. Ursula gave me. I'm terribly sorry I was unable to be of use to everyone at such a crucial time. Gosh, I already told you, it's fine! Anyway, it seems like Ouroboros has their own weird drama going on. Indeed. The second Anguis is being pursued, and the Phantom Thief kept away. Yes. I guess we'll need to look into what's going on with them a bit more. Are you sure about this, Emma? Is it really okay for Celine to come with us now? <laughs> I should be fine by myself for a while. That aside, you need to figure out how to get that power of yours under control. But don't worry, I'll train you. All right, thank you. Take care. Let me know if anything comes up. I will. Celine, please take good care of Reen. Yeah, just be careful. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a while, right, Machias? Yeah, this is where the real inspection work starts. I probably need to have a talk with my father as well. And finally, I want to speak with Governor General Rufus about Eusis. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no matter what you say, you two are close, aren't you? <laughs> I'm only doing him a favor now so I can rub it in his face later. <laughs> it went by so quickly. Yeah. But we'll see each other again before long. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a few days too, right, Elisa? Yeah, I'm thinking about heading back with Mother. There are a lot of things I want to ask her about. Those railway cannons, for example. My lady. I see. <laughs> Don't worry, after all. I'm the manager in charge of the development division. Let's each do our part in a way that only Class 7 can. I'm sure this will help us fulfill our promise, too. Elisa. You're right. Yes. Yeah, this is where we need to push through. I don't know just how much more assistance I'll be able to give, but I intend to fight to the end, in my own way. Also, you have my thanks for going along with the selfish wishes of the wandering bard Olivier Lenheim. We have a lot to thank you for, too. You built the framework for Class 7. And we'd like to continue it in our own way. I'm glad to hear it. I look forward to seeing what all of you accomplish. As for the members of the new Class 7, I'm glad I was able to meet you. I feel the stirrings of a new wind from you all, different from your predecessors. Please keep giving it your all. You as well, Tita. D yes! You honor us. 
Understood. <laughs> we'll do our best! Reen, everyone, please stay safe. This visit made me realize a great many things. Much like all of you, I don't intend to give up either. Princess Alfin? It's very reassuring to hear that. <laughs> but that aside, I'm dying to find out whether Reen is going to invite me to dance at the summer festival. Huh? Asking the princess to dance at the summer festival? That means... <laughs> it means one day, he might end up as more than just the princess's dance partner. Instructor. Is that how it is? Uh, no, I'm sure Her Highness is just kidding. Right? <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> That's quite enough playing around. You're overreacting too, Reen. Um. Alisa, Emma, Machias. Thank you so much for helping my brother. As his sister, I'm truly happy to see your bonds with him have grown even stronger. <laughs> Elise. <laughs> Thank you, too. Hmm, you really have grown so much since I last saw you, Elise. <laughs> we have to make sure we don't get left in her dust. Ah, uh, alas, it's true. It really is no fun teasing her lately. But... That makes catching her with her guard down all the sweeter. Oh... Also, everyone from the branch campus. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to properly greet you. But I'm planning to visit your campus sometime and say hello. Oh, really? <laughs> You're welcome anytime. Yeah, more than welcome. I wish to make amends, so I'll be waiting for you. Make amends for what exactly? Man, they sure do remind me of our group, huh? Yes, I'm a little envious. But I still believe we can get back what we've lost. Of course. Let's keep working at it, Tio Tot. If you say so, Randy. I'll see you two later. Say hi to Mom and Dad for me. I'll send lots of letters. So be good and take care. Okay? Okay. See you later, Yuna! Bye-bye, Cardinali! We'll see you again sometime. Farewell. Are you sure it's all right for you to come back with us? Shouldn't you stay in Crossbell? <sighs> yeah. I was appointed to the branch campus because of a recommendation from the Governor General. I know the real reason behind it, so I've been dodging it. But, uh, once I heard Shirley and the Red Constellation were creeping around in the Empire, I felt like I had no choice but to accept. What an awful thing to have happen. 
The Governor General was trying to send you as far away as possible so he couldn't interfere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But maybe it was the right thing to do anyway. Huh? Both on the surface and behind the scenes, Crossbell's mixed up in everything that's about to go down in Erebonia. So, I might as well give some covering fire. From way over in the Empire in a little town called Leaves, while I keep the students there in line. I'm glad. It's the same with me! Just like Randy said, if something happens to Erebonia, Crossbell will get dragged into it too. So for my family's sake, and the sake of everyone else in Crossbell, I decided to protect my home, in a different way from Lloyd and the others. And now, I feel like maybe there's a future. Where people from both Crossbell and Erebonia can laugh together as friends. Now I'm really, really glad. I see. You're certainly impressive. Compared to the way you were the other day, you're a completely different person now. <laughs> you're gonna make something of yourself, Uni. I can tell. Hey! Are you all just making fun of me? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. You're too good at this. Divine Blade of Wind, too. <laughs> Guess they were able to break out of the birdcage, huh? Your rank has increased. Here's your reward. <laughs> Not bad at all.